La Clinica has served as a pillar of St. Paul's West Side for a half century. Low-income patients need the facility now more than ever. Thinking through this crisis, it just points to this vulnerable population even more. To keep seeing patients safely, doctors and nurses require personal protective equipment, or PPE. Just a few weeks ago, La Clinica accepted a much needed shipment of masks. The very next morning, we realized that that shipment was missing came to the conclusion um, that those masks had been taken. Without any sign of a break-in, 300 masks disappeared, roughly a one to two week supply. There were six cases of, of 50 masks each. Any mask is a lot uh, right now as we continue to work through this crisis. La Clinica's parent organization, Minnesota Community Care, doesn't know who took them or why, but decided not to involve local police because they said they'd rather focus on patients during a time of crisis. The bigger issue is that facilities like La Clinica will need as many N95 masks as they can get in the coming weeks. We feel pretty confident uh, that we can stay the course and, and continue to provide those services. The Walls administration is also keeping tabs on the shortage and appointed Commissioner of Administration Alice Roberts Davis to lead Minnesota's effort to maintain life-saving care supplies. We will continue to use every public and private resource available to us to get the protective equipment to the frontline health care workers. In the meantime, generous people on the west side have been stopping by La Clinica to donate supplies. And just said, you know what? We heard that you needed this, and, and so they're, they're really coming from community members. So we're very grateful for all of those donations that have come in. With cases yet to reach their peak in Minnesota, we know that the mask issue is only going to get more pronounced in the coming weeks. And for that reason, La Clinica is accepting donations on site and want people to bring the mask to their St. Paul location on the west side. Danny Spiewak, Carol 11 News.